For this problem, not only do we want to figure out how much we should administer, we also want to figure out if the ordered amount is safe. So, first off, let's read the problem. The label of this medication reads, children larger than 10 kilograms, 1.5 to 2 milligrams per meter squared as a single dose, may repeat weekly. This med is a sterile, preservative-free, single-use only solution available for intravenous use in 2 milliliter vials. Each milliliter contains 1 milligram of medication. Your child weighs 40 pounds and is 50 inches tall. The doctor has ordered 1.2 milligrams as an IV on Tuesdays. Is the dose ordered safe? And how much should you administer? So in order to figure out if the dose that is ordered is safe, we need to look at the recommended amount or the safe amount put out by the manufacturer. So we see that for children larger than 10 kilograms, and if we look at the weight of our child, it is 40 pounds. Just doing a rough estimate, we know that we would take 40 divided by 2.2, which would be somewhere around 20 kilograms. So this child meets the qualification that they are larger than 10 kilograms. Second, we see a safe range of 1.5 to 2 milligrams per meter squared. The meter squared is our sign that we need to calculate body surface area. So I use my formula. I take the square root of the weight 40 times the height 50. These are English units, so I divide by 3131. And I put that all on my calculator, and I come up with a value of... 0 0.799. Now we typically round body surface area to hundredths, and so when I round to hundredths, that 9 rounds to a 0, and so I have 0 0.8 meters squared. Recall that with metric measurements, we're not allowed to have any extra zeros, so my hundredth place is not represented, even though that's where I rounded. Next thing I want to do is I want to calculate the safe range specific to this child. And so I need to take what the manufacturer has specified and multiply it by this child's body surface area. So to get the lower end of the range, I take 1.5 milligrams per meter squared and I multiply it times the child's body surface area of 0 0.8 meters squared and that gives me 1.2 milligrams. And then I repeat for the upper end of the range, and so I take 2 milligrams per meter squared, multiply it times this particular child's body surface area, and again my labels will cancel here, and I get an answer of 1.6 milligrams. So the 1.2 milligrams to 1.6 milligrams is the safe range for this particular child. The order is 1.2 milligrams, and that is in the range. We talked about that below the range may not be therapeutic, and above the range may be an overdose. So we always want our orders to be in the calculated range, and that is the case here. And so we can answer the first question, is the ordered dose safe? And our answer to that question is yes. And we have our calculations here to prove that. We have calculated the safe range, 1.2 to 1.6. And we have our order, which is the lower end of that range. Second question, how much should you administer? So this can be done either by nursing formula, by dimensional analysis, or by proportion. I'm going to use the nursing formula, so desired over half times the quantity. I desire to give what the doctor orders, which is 1.2 milligrams. I have on hand, and I look up here, and it says 1 milligram per 1 milliliter. So I divide this by 1 milligram, multiply by 1 milliliter, and I should give the child 1.2 milliliters.